Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with the Ultimate Fishing Simulator and we are checking out for the first time the Japanese DLC. Now, I was recently gifted this, so I figure I might as well take a quick look at it. I haven't even looked at it once. <laughs> I've been so busy with other things, but let me go ahead and show you. There are a lot of new species here that uh, are not on any of the maps. Let's see, they've got the Wells Catfish, the Wakasagi, the Tench, the Spotted Sea Trout, the Sockeye Salmon, the Northern Snakehead, the Japanese Eel, and the Giant Barb. Now, I can't remember if we've seen Koi Carp or not, but I think those are new too. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at the encyclopedia, but the Wells Catfish, as you well know from other games, is a monster. This is the first time we've seen I'm surprised, but now I think about it, there hasn't been really a whole lot of European maps. So that's why we haven't seen that one. The Wakasagi, that's a small freshwater fish. And we know the Tench. Tenches have been around in a lot of games. The Spotted Sea Trout. The Sockeye Salmon, you know that well from Fishing Planet. The Northern Snakehead. Japanese eel and then there's the giant barb which can reach as big as the Wells catfish up to 200 oh 300 kilograms so that's the one yeah here I think this is new I don't think it's it's new to this game anyway now we've got yeah see once you get down to here it starts listing the new ones so let's go check this out guys this is my first look at it so this is yours too maybe let's see here I hope I have the right gear for this Ooh, Mount Fuji alright guys that took a while to load I'm not sure if that's because it's the first time I've been on this map or what but let's take a quick look at the map itself see how big it is I mean, it's sizable, definitely sizable. There's a lot of good areas to fish. I like the island, and I like this little pond off to the right of it, too. That could be interesting. In addition to the other ones I had mentioned, it also has rainbow trout, brown trout, and largemouth bass, which we have seen before, as well as the Crucian carp. So, we know how to catch those guys. Now, where are we going to find the others? That's the question. Okay, let's see. These species don't know too much about them, so... Let's start on the island. Let's just start on the island. Ooh. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Well, that's cool. It's like a little... Temple-y thing out here. <laughs> Couple of them. Yeah, it looks like there's some pretty good places to fish. Here's some boats if we want them. I think for now we're just going to do it off the shore. Let's see here. See what we see. Those could be eels. I don't know what or how to find the ones we want to find. Let's start off with the little guys here. All right, let me see what I've got gear wise. 
probably going to go with slow fishing to start off with. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we have? That the fish around here will go for. Sockeye salmon. Northern snakehead and peacock bass. So that's one that might be worth checking out. Now for the bottom fishing rods. So what goes for live bait? Wells catfish. I didn't see a whole lot of big fish out there, but the sockeye and the northern snakeheads go for it, so we can leave that the way it is. Looks like the giant barb, spotted sea trout, and the wakasagi go for grasshoppers. Let's go with the dragonfly because those out there look like, they look a lot like Japanese eels, so I think I'm going to go ahead and equip those. Nope, can't get more than one. What size hook do I have here? Eh, that's good. That's good. That'll work. Let's take that off. Look, see what we got here. Anything here go for corn, Japanese eel. Let's put that on there and a pea. What hook size? Let's go a size smaller. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and set the rod pod down. It can't be placed here. Really? Oh man. Why not? Well, that sucks. Hmm. See if it can be set over here. Yes. Let's get our bearings is where the fish are. Looks like there's a bunch of them over that way, so let's throw it right out there. start with this first see if there's any sockeye salmon out that way well it's a good cast damn <laughs> all right it's pretty dark here we're gonna let that go to the bottom take the speed down to two It's a deep, deep lake. I'm going to try to stop and go. Damn, there we go. I know exactly what I was after. There we go. I 
I don't think he's too big, but that doesn't matter. It's first one, so... Let's get the camera out here in case he decides to bolt. first sockeye. He's not huge, but he's a sockeye. They can get pretty big. I'm not sure exactly, like 20 or 30 pounds maybe? I don't remember. But we'll go ahead and sell him. Alright, let's take a good look around. We got plenty of them out there. Let's try over here on this side. I see some fairly large fellows down there. Ah! Sounds like we got activity on one of the other rods. Here we go. It is number two. Whoop. Ooh, wow, this guy's big. <laughs> well, bigger. Well, no, pretty big. Of course, we had no tension at all on this, so not huge. This is the dragonfly, so could be another sockeye. Nope, it's a northern snakehead. They are funky looking fish. They do look similar to the bowfin, but now that you see them real close, they look a lot like a snake. Especially the, actually the whole body and everything does. Not worth a lot, but fun to catch. fish over there there's something big down there uh, might be Wells catfish guys I was wondering why I wouldn't get a stop and go I didn't realize that it was up to three on that setting. Boy, that is deep. Getting a good presentation. Whoa! 
Uh, whoa. Okay, there we go. And he was almost up to the dock there. Yeah, this one's considerably bigger than the last one. But he's not really running with it. He's just... Oh, shoot. He's caught. I think he's caught on one of the... Boats or something. Hold on, let me change the camera view here. Yep, he's... Caught on the boat. <laughs> there we go. We got him now. Ah, he keeps getting up on the damn boat. That's a little bit better. Think. No, no, actually he's smaller. I think it was just because he was behind that daggone boat. Yeah, I've got to see what this fish is over here. Let me switch. Jeez, look at the size of that sucker. He's slow moving. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my float rod here. And we're going to see what we got down there. All right, looks like we got us another bite off of here. Let's see, it's this one again. I think I'm going to move these rods over there because I'm trying to see if I can get a Wells catfish over here. But they don't seem to be too interested. I don't know if my hook size is too big, which it is pretty good size. This guy's almost in. Let's see what he is. It's a Japanese eel. 0 0.60 pounds. Two pounds about as big as I can get. They're not huge. But I've not seen one before. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this over here because I'm seeing a more of, more of a variety over here I'm seeing some big fish some little fish there's one that might be a crucian carp just going by body size and shape let's see here I think we can go ahead and keep this bait there's plenty of things to eat it. Now let me check on the bait for this again. Because I don't think there's... What we're after goes for that. Let's see. Giant barb. Oscar Peacock Bass, okay. <laughs> Spotted sea trout. Really? Huh. Wells catfish goes for the artificial eggs. Take the size up a little bit more. Let's equip that. Let's just 
let's go ahead with the live bait. And there's quite a few of them down there, so I am going to toss that right there where they seem to be hovering around. Okay, let me get a good look at these guys too. I'm gonna check the lures here again. See if anything sockeye, northern snakehead. Well, there was another one that looked real promising, and that's this one here. Just hope it's not too big. Definitely want to go with a 7 odd. This one will sink. I finally, finally mastered the lift and drop in this game. I think the stop and go is going to be best for the wells. Wow, it's really deep here. There he is. <laughs> I got you, you little bugger. I found what you like. Yeah, I'm not sure how big this fella is. Well, he's holding his own. But I have a feeling the really big fish are going to have to be accessed by a kayak. Because they're probably way out there. Yeah, he's not a monster. Just their baby brother. Let's see here. Hey, but he's a Wells catfish. That's all that matters. There you go. Yeah, see, he's only like 9.37 pounds. Considering the fact that these guys get up to 200 kilograms, yeah. <laughs> He's not very big. I'm not seeing anything. Well, that one there is good size. But I don't know if I can get his attention or not. But I was right about the stop and go. You really do have to let it sink. And 
now that I finally figured out the lift and drop, I've got to tr try that. There are actually big largemouth bass in here too, so they like that presentation. Ah, the speed. You gotta have the speed at two as well. Oh, there we go. Over here. Oh wow, this one is really going nuts. Yeah, I think we got us a wells here. Yeah, he's a big fella. where you can see what we're doing. Got him. There we go. Another Wells. He's not quite as big as the other one, though. Still. We'll find the bigger ones. But like I said, I think we're gonna go have to. We're gonna have to hunt for those. See, there is that one big one, and I cannot seem to get his attention. So I think I'm going to go back to my float fishing. we got something on here. It's not very big, but, well, maybe it is. Let's see here wasn't making any noise. Yeah, it's not too big. Kind of curious about this one. This is probably going to be something totally different. a surprise. He is bigger than he appeared. <laughs> it's another Wells. <laughs> Got him off the corn and the peas. I'll be damned. All right. Not a bad first look, guys. I really do like this. They're not too hard to catch. There's plenty of the Wells catfish. Now the next trick is just to see if we can't find the big fellas. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of the... Well, hold on. Got another one. <laughs> Right in the middle of my presentation there. Let's see here. Okay, he's... <sighs> oh, wow. Okay, he's turning. This might be the biggest one so far. 
he is putting up a fight. He's keeping it in yellow most of the time. Also means that when he gets closer, I am going to take this tension down. There we go. Now it's a little better. 9.46 pounds. Still not getting into the monster categories, but that's the biggest so far today. As I'm doing my spiel. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until next time, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.